Hello, banana growers. Welcome back. This is Frank with Simply Bananas. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna to have to cut down these pretty banana plants. Come along and let's take a look. Not every banana plant is gonna make a beautiful rack of bananas like these gold fingers. And there are a couple reasons for that. Uh, for this plant, uh, it's only got three leaves. One, two, three, and the fruit's kind of small and there aren't very many of them. So I could just let this stay here and continue to use the uh, water and block the sunlight from these other plants. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to cut it down. And that's a smart thing to do if you have a naked bloom or if you have just bananas uh, that are bloomed and they look like they're struggling. Uh, this is just one of them. And here's the other one right here. Now this one's got plenty of leaves, but for some reason it's really only got one banana. And I don't think any more are coming because it's a bloom. What we'll do is we will cut this down with the Sawzall. So this is my cordless reciprocating saw usually called a sawzall but i got corrected one time in a video uh anyway i'm going to use this to cut down the banana plants but check it out my dang bananas uh my dang batteries ruptured out of the bottom of it i don't know i was using it on some bamboo and it suddenly went and this thing uh, popped open like that anyway it still seems to work so that's what we'll use all right so over my shoulder there are two banana plants that we're going to cut down it's going to happen quick so don't blink When counting on the battery to be dead. Maybe it's because it does have that rupture. All right, so uh, here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this banana stalk up into manageable pieces and we're gonna add it right back to the mulch pile. And as it decomposes, it will provide food for the rest of the bananas in the banana stand. Remember, don't get any banana blood on your clothing because uh, if you recall the video up here, uh, it will stain your clothes forever, forever. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of music when I start using this Sawzall because it's quite loud. All right now, so I'm just going to take these pieces and add them back to the banana pile and they will turn into mulch and food for the other bananas. All done. Let's move on. So these are the Candrians. But look, one of them fell over. So of course, this one's going to have to be cut up and added back to the mulch. I had to cut this Candrian. It's been growing for about two years and it just fell over. I don't know. I think it got wrecked in the hurricane last year uh, and it never really recovered. So anyway, no use crying over a fallen banana, huh? <laughs> On to the Rajapuri. So we're back here in the Rajapuri stand. And look at those bananas. I mean, they are just tiny. They are never gonna make it. The flower is kind of puny. Uh, so it's got one and a half leaves. It's gonna have to go. And that's how you do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed seeing us cut down some banana plants that needed to be cut down. We will see you in the next banana plant update. Thanks for watching.